Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, the movie lover here, and um, welcome back to another episode of After I Saw This Time. It is going to be on Cars 3. Now, did Pixar actually think we needed a third movie? Well, they thought that, you know, they thought, they probably thought everybody loved Cars 2 so much because did so well, so they decided to do a third movie. So let's see how that goes. They gave us two sequels to Cars, but they didn't give us Incredibles 2, which we've all been asking for, and pretty much nobody asked for any sequels to Cars. Because pretty much Cars 2, I cannot deny, is the worst Pixar movie I've ever seen. Like, really. Now, the first Cars movie, I remember being a huge fan of back then. I had the merchandise. I've seen it in theaters three times. And that's a movie I am never going to hate because of all the stuff that's happened in my childhood while watching the movie. So uh, that's a movie that I cannot hate. And I don't want to hate it. You know, I, I still think um, it is a good Pixar movie. It's not a great Pixar movie. It's just good for the most part. But Cars 2... They thought we needed more of Mater, and pretty much Cars 2 is Mater's story. <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, let's get into Cars 3. So, Cars 3 basically has nothing to do with that awful sequel, Cars 2. Um, instead, basically, it focuses on Lightning McQueen again, who is in tough competition. He's been racing for years, and then we have a new character or new racer going in called Jackson Storm, and of course, he is faster, and he realizes he's not the fastest anymore, and then he goes into an accident, of course, we saw in the first trailer, and then, you know, he um, really wants to try to not retire, and he wants to go and uh, race again, he wants to make his next race his fastest yet. So, basically, he gets a trainer named Cruz, who always wanted to be a racer but never got the chance to because she's more of a trainer, as most people said. And pretty much overall that, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, Cars 3, I was really hoping would be get better than Cars 2 because if there's one thing I don't want Pixar to be is to go way downhill. I do not want Pixar. I want to see another good Pixar movie just as good as Inside Out did. I mean, I really enjoyed Finding Dory. I still th thought that was a little bit better than Zootopia. And, uh, I can certainly say that this movie wasn't complete shit. I can say it, this movie was not shit. It wasn't shit, it wasn't bad. It was fine. It was kinda good, for the most part. Let me start off with the things that I liked about it. Um, that has not that, <laughs> yes, yes, I know, almost every single Pixar, okay, every single Pixar movie has good animation, so yeah, and, uh, its story itself really didn't go anywhere for me, I wasn't really invested in the new characters, you know, I just thought they were pretty much there most of the time, although, you know, the first act of the movie, or at least the second half of the first act, didn't really go anywhere for me, but uh, I can tell you, here's one big improvement. <sighs> Mater is not in the movie that much. She is not. He is like 30 to 35 percent in the movie. I'm like, thank you, God. And they never mentioned anything about the older characters from Cars 2. They don't mention anything about Cars 2. It's like this was supposed to be Cars 2, but instead, they made Cars 2 Cars 2. And, uh, but yeah, um, sometimes the half, the, like, the final act really picks up, picks up a lot more. And we hear more about what happened to Doc Hudson back then, and we basically... Um, although I didn't really find that interest in that, I mean, I just... All I wanted was for this movie to be better than Cars 2. I wanted, um, it certainly, um, I liked it 
I liked it a little bit more than the good dinosaur, just a little bit more than the good dinosaur. And, um, I didn't, uh, good dinosaur, it was okay, but it's not one of Pixar's best. It's good, but it's not one of Pixar's best. It's not one of Pixar's best. Okay, so, I'm really hoping at least in November we get to see a trailer to Incredibles 2. Pixar, give us Incredibles 2. You don't know how many times we've asked for it. Pulsar's not good enough, but anyways, let me. So, overall, Cars 3... It's a slight improvement over Cars 2, because it pretty much has nothing to do with that. And I know I keep talking about that. Let me just continue on with this. This movie, overall, it was a fine third installment to a franchise of Pixar films, to a Pixar franchise, although I really think that if they leave this, like, the last Cars movie, then that would be really satisfying, because we don't need another Cars movie. And, uh, certainly, is this better than Toy Story 3? No! This is not better than Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3 will always be the better installment. This will be something that the kids will definitely seem to enjoy much more than adults will, because adults... Some of them will like it, some of them won't. I personally, for one, thought it was a fine installment. It's nothing special. Overall, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I was thinking 3.5, but more think about it. You know, after leaving it, I just found... I just think the less of it, but I don't hate the movie. I will say I did not hate the movie. There's stuff I hated, but do I hate the movie? No. So, yeah. That is, dev that is it for this video. I am not looking forward to next week because next week I have to see Transformers last night. Yay. <laughs> uh. After that horror show, then after that next week I'll be seeing Baby Driver and hopefully Despicable Me 3. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. Word out.